Hello YouTube and this is Robert with Super Galactic Geek Reviews and we've got something special for you today. We're doing Christmas tree. But not any Christmas tree. As you can see I ended up with a black Christmas tree. That's right. I found a black one. We're going to show you what products you can get to build your own Star Wars tree. I'm going to tell you how, where to get them at and let you know, you know, basically where okay the product price was and everything so and I'm gonna break this into three videos first off we're gonna talk about the products that I have here and what's going to be going on the tree and then the second video I'll show you the tree all lit up with these products on it the third video we are going to build our own tree topper now it's a surprise for all of y'all out there because I'm not gonna tell you what it is but I'll tell you this much, it is Star Wars related, so keep checking back and you'll figure out what it is. So let's first off, let's go over what we got here and where we got it. Let's start off with our black tree. Now, I ended up getting this tree at Walmart. That's right, Walmart actually sells black Christmas trees. Now, this thing is $25 at Walmart. It's a four-foot tree. They also have one for $39 that is a six-foot. and It's actually a six-and-a-half-foot tree. So... It comes pre-lit with white lights. However, I'm going to do something a little different. As you can see, I have red lights here. And I went and picked these up also at Walmart. These are red LED lights. Because I am a little bit favoritism toward the dark side, it's going to be more of the dark side tree. So what we're going to do is I'm going to end up using the red lights on this tree. And I do a special technique when I do my lights. I wrap them. I'll show you one limb when we do it, what it looks like. This is going to be our little tree topper. I found this really cute little Vader at Walmart with a little Santa hat on. I thought he was kind of cool. Came with candy. I just took the candy off his arm. So he's going to be on top of the tree. And let's review our ornaments. Now I've got quite a few ornaments here that are going on here. So let me just move these over here real quick and I'll show you them one at a time and uh, we'll discuss them. So first off we got these little guys. These were ones that came in McDonald's Happy Meals and this was when uh, they started these in the Happy Meals right after the third movie you start you were well no the third movie was coming out you were able to get these. So I got these four ran up there and got them because I thought it was kind of cool I think it's going to look neat putting them on the Christmas tree, so that was kind of cool. Um, we did end up with, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this, these are ribbon, and yes, I'm going to use some bright red ribbon on the tree. I'll show you what to do with that. It's really neat. You've got those at Walmart, and uh, those are $2.44 at Walmart, so those are the price you pay for those. Now, I'm going to pull up the Walmart ones. Now all of these little Hallmark issued ones from Walmart are all $7.99. As you can see these here we ended up with Yoda. Uh, this is the old Storm Trooper and then I've got the look First Order Trooper. That's pretty cool. Um, we ended up with C-3PO which is kind of cool. We ended up with the Kylo Ren which is cool. And we ended up with a R2-D2 with antlers, which my wife picked that one out. Uh, I may end up putting that on her tree in the back. I'm not sure yet. We're debating that one. She thinks it needs to go on this one. I think I need a better R2. I need a more realistic one. But I'll debate it with her and we'll see where it ends up. So, I found this at Walgreens. This is a Chewbacca one. And yes, he's $7.99 also. So, we got Chewbacca's going on the tree. Now, this one here is also a Walgreens one. This one is the Darth Vader. So, he's pretty cool. We're going to put him on the tree also. And as you can tell, the sizes are not accurate for the, the uh, characters. Because if you look, Vader is actually shorter than the troopers. <laughs> so, it's definitely not an accurate size representation there. 
Now, these I got last year at Walmart. They were on the clearance rack, so I went ahead and picked them up. I figured those would look good on the tree, too. That would give us a little bit more Star Wars to put on there. And I believe they are, yeah, they are made of metal. So that's kind of cool. They're metal with a sticker on them, so that's pretty neat. So I'm going to sit these right over here. Now, I wanted to add something besides just ornaments. And I, my wife found these at Walmart. Look at the color of these. That'll be great for a Sith tree. And it is $4.98 for this bundle of them. And that's pretty cool because uh, you get 18 of those. And you see the colors are really good. They look just like it would be a Sith colors to me, you know. Now. I do not know where this one came from. I believe it was Hallmark. I am not sure. It was given to me as a gift last year. Let me go ahead and hit the button because that is the Emperor projection with Darth Vader. He's just a boy. The Force is strong with him. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. So that, it says several different things, but that's just one of them. So that's definitely got to go on the tree. I think it's going to end up in the center. Um, I'm going back out. I'm going to look for a couple more items. I'm going to try to find some smaller lightsabers that will look really good on here. And uh, see what they look like. See if I can find some smaller ones to put up on the tree too. Our next video I'm going to show you is going to be the tree decorations themselves on. And... The video after that will build our topper. So, YouTube, stay continued to check it out. Now, remember this. Go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And be proud to be a geek.